Hi, this is Jay Sachs with a quick video. Looking at some watch advertisements in this magazine I received, there's quite a few watch ads, so I thought it would make a fun video to talk about them individually and look at kind of the marketing angle. Now, first we have Patek Philippe. This is a two-page ad in a magazine. So we have on the right, the world time, of course. On the left, we have this ideal scenario whereby a father and son you know the Patek Philippe saying about you never actually own a Patek Philippe. You merely take care of it for the next generation. Here we have the middle-aged man, appears to be fit, thin, with the full head of hair, a healthy tan. And of course, his little prick son. I can guarantee you that kid's a little twat. Some rich, rich kid. Look at his belt. And his shirt is tucked in. Hello? Anyway, so... As you know, with marketing and advertisements, they don't show you the life you have. They show you the life that you want to have. You want to be some rich prick having a, a lovely breakfast in a foreign city on a, a balcony with a perfectly behaved son. And I bet your wife is hot also. But anyway, so Patek Philippe, that's their message. Moving on. Next we have Blancpain 50 Fathoms. This is a dive watch. Now you see some scary sharks. A great actually image of this watch, very bold image at somewhat of an angle. I think it suggests movement and action to show that with a bit of a, a darkened to give that somewhat of an edgy feel for some, you know, underwater reminiscing or so forth. So I think it's a effective print ad in terms of the diving. Try and get rid of this glare for you. Sorry about that. But yeah, I think it's great to show some underwater scenes with a very dramatic view of this watch. So there we go, Blancpain. Moving on. I put tabs on these pages in case you're wondering why I'm fumbling. So bear with me here, guys. Ah, here we go. Banerai. Laboratorio di Die. My Italian is not so great, so please forgive me. But Panerai, once again, a submersible Carbotech watch. Now, Panerai, I mean, their fat, chunky watch that, I, that appeals to a certain demographic, shall we say. I think this ad is consistent with that. It shows this boat. So, survival instruments for modern heroes. Maybe you're uh, some kind of military or coast guard. You live action-packed life full of adventure and water. And of course, you want that watch. Now, going back to my previous point, most punters are fat, lazy, sit at a desk. They're never going to be saving someone's life, but marketing appeals to what you want to be, what you think your life could be, potentially. It creates that fantasy. So I think, you know, very effective ad for that. Not a huge fan of the watch, but I think it's effective in terms of the target demographic. Moving on. Vacheron Constantin. Now this watch here, we get this punter with a camera and a bit of a, maybe a Prince Harry lookalike to some degree. Anyway, so he's a photographer apparently. Corey Richards is the bloke's name. Never heard of the guy, don't know anything about the guy, and frankly speaking, if not for that bio, I would assume he's just some kind of guy, you know, in a, a watch ad, basically. So I think they're trying to capture this, this free spirit adventure. Now, notice this guy, his hair is, you know, not combed all the way. It's a bit, you know, windblown, shall we say. He has some stubble. He doesn't have time to shave. Don't you see that, you fool? He's too busy with adventures, although he does have time to tie a tie, oddly enough, which is somewhat uh, maybe incongruent with the overall image. Anyway, so he's wearing kind of a, a cotton jacket there with a scarf and a denim, denim shirt with this kind of action. He's ready for the next moment to capture with his camera. And that's what they're going for, the Vacheron Constantin. Now, I don't know how many people live this life. Not many, obviously. I I don't even think he does, frankly speaking. But uh, nothing against the guy, but eh, 
a so-so ad because how many people aspire to be a photographer? So anyway, let's move on. And this is a two-page ad, and we have here Odimar Piguet. This is a, one of those ads that's kind of disguised to look like a, like a news story. So this lady's watch, obviously. So we have an attractive lady here. You know, not terribly young, but not too old. The kind of lady that a punter could see themselves, ooh, maybe I could get a wife like that or a girlfriend like that. Not a chance, you fat, lazy punter at your desk. You're not a hero saving lives in the ocean with a Panerai action watch. So of course you can't get this kind of woman. What are you, crazy? Anyway, but um, nice ad here for, uh, I guess this watch targeting ladies. So I think it's effective in that. I'm not a lady, obviously, but I don't know. I mean, it seems so-so, just whatever. Lots of information here in terms of this text, which I didn't bother to read, by the way, but uh, let's move on. Richard Guillet. This is a curious ad in that the first time I'm looking through this magazine, I actually skipped right over this. On the left here, by the way, in case you're wondering. I think I skipped over it because I didn't realize it was a watch. It just seemed kind of like bright color. It didn't really catch my attention as a watch per se. So as you can see here, it appears to be some kind of candy with, you know, very bright colors here. Kind of a fun watch. I think it's kind of effective in conveying the funness, but ineffective in telling someone that, hey, this is a watch. Not enough kind of a, shall we say, watch presence. The candy, I think, has a bigger, I don't know, presence than the watch in my estimation. And once again, we have this kind of cupcake crown. That's actually rather clever, as you can see here. It's a cupcake upside down, obviously, but kind of a clever idea, fun idea. So let's move on. And here we go, another Richard Millet. This one is, um, once again, has some kind of fruity candy, sweets and so forth. We have a watch rectangular face with a wood grain border there. Interesting advertisement in that it is bright and the color does catch your attention, but if you're a casual per person not familiar with watches, you wouldn't know that it's a watch you know, in the first glance, it would take you a while to kind of figure things out. So not really effective in getting the casual punter to realize this is actually a watch advertisement. Moving on. Let's come here to the back page, actually. Hey, what do you know? Cartier. Now, very classic brand, classic watch, a lady's watch, obviously, with a diamond insert there and so forth. Looks like it's rose gold. Now, this is the back of the magazine, so it's a full page listing here. The nice red pop of color. So it does grab your attention from that standpoint. I would have preferred the watch to be maybe just a smidget larger in that. There's quite a bit of red negative space. I think the watch should take center stage as opposed to the red taking center stage. Just my thoughts. I would move Cartier to the top, actually, because you got to figure this magazine might be, um, well, it comes to your house with a certain credit card, shall we say. But if this magazine's like, let's say, hanging out on the table, whatever, with a stack of magazines, the top portion would most likely be more visible as opposed to the bottom. Hence, you may want to have the Cartier at the top. But anyway, just my thoughts on some watch advertisements. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. This is One Take J. That's right. No edits, no retakes. One take, and that's done, baby. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. This is Jay Sykes, hoping you have a nice day, if possible. Bye.